A very good morning students. In today's class, I'll be talking about the atomic radii of the elements on moving down the group. The class is for class 11th. So, as we move from group 1, top to bottom, we come across the elements lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium. Why have I put a star here? The star means this element is radioactive. What do we mean by the term? Radioactivity means the element's nuclei is unstable and it disintegrates. Hence, if the nuclei disintegrates, the number of protons would change. And if the number of protons is changing, the element loses its identity. So there's no point studying such an element. So for chemical purposes, we don't study francium for any properties. Further talking about the atomic number for these elements. The atomic number for these elements are 3, 11, 19, 37, 55, 87. It's difficult to memorize. So the easier route would be, after the first element, lithium, you know the atomic number to be 3. Add 8, come to 11. Add another 8, make 19. Now add 18, another 18 and then a 32. So if you know the atomic number for the first element, for the rest it becomes easier. Writing the electronic configuration of the elements. For writing the electronic configuration, according to the quantum model, we know it would be 1s2, 2s1, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and a 3s1. Argon is 18. Since potassium is 19, after argon you have a 4s1. You can also write this configuration in the full format. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and a 4s1. Rubidium ends at 5s1, cesium ends at 6s1, francium ends at 7s1. Since all of them are ending at the s, therefore they are in the s block and they have one electron in the s subshell so they become in the group 1. You can see down the group the principal quantum number is increasing from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7. The highest principal quantum number for francium becomes 7 so it has a 7th shell. Cesium is 6, so it has 6 shells. Rubidium is 5, potassium 4, sodium 3 and lithium 2. So the principal quantum number is increasing down the group. Size is expected to increase and it does as you have done in class 10th. Now what is so different in class 11th? In 11th, the same thing we say size increases down the group but not regularly. Which means if there is an increase of 10 units from going from lithium to sodium, then another 10 till potassium and it is not 10, 10 and 10 increase. The increase is not regular. Let's study what exactly happens. Down the group, we find lithium to sodium, there is an increase in size. Sodium to potassium, also there is a rise in size. But as soon as we go from potassium to rubidium, the size increases less. Rubidium to cesium, the size increases less. And in fact, when we move from Cesium to francium, the size is almost similar, is the question mark. Which means, down the group, initially there is a rise in size, then the size increase becomes less in magnitude, again less, and then finally, almost similar atomic radii. To justify this fact, we need to know a property known as the shielding effect. Shielding effect refers to tendency or the capacity of a subshell to protect the nuclear charge from reaching the outermost shell. So if your subshell is S, it has the highest shielding power, which means covering up the nucleus. So if S subshell is present, then it covers up the nuclear pretty well. Hence the nuclear charge is not felt to much extent towards the last shell. P, D and F. As you go from S to P, the shielding effect is less. P to D, it's all the more less. And D to F is the least shielding effect. So if the shielding effect is less, means tendency or the capacity of the subshell to protect the nuclear charge from reaching outside is less, so the nuclear charge becomes more effective. And additions of D and F only happens at the tail end of the group. But this increase is only applicable for the same N values. Hence, 4S would have a greater shielding effect than 4P, which would have a greater shielding effect than 4D, which would have a greater shielding effect than 4F. What I am trying to say is, if you have a nuclear charge here, then 
if your subshell has a high shielding effect means it would cover up the nucleus properly if the nuclear is properly covered then the nuclear charge would not be felt till the last electron if it is not felt it becomes easier to remove the electron but this would happen only if we have an s or a p subshell if this subshell is a d or an f in presence of a d or f subshell they have a poor shielding effect means your nuclear charge is surrounded by a perforated subshell something like that just to understand it a little better agar subshell mein holes hain means the nuclear charge can easily pass through it agar nuclear charge pass through ho gaya hai means the outermost electron is tightly held hence even if it is farther away because the shells are increasing down the group still the effectivity of the nuclear charge is increasing if you have a d or f subshell in the configuration if the effectivity of the nuclear charge increases therefore the outermost electron the outermost shell becomes held strongly so the attraction force between the nucleus and the outermost electron increases hence the atomic radius decreases or it does not increase as much as it should have this this fact of shielding effect leads to a graphical representation for the first group which is like this you have atomic radii on the y axis the elements of group 1 on the x axis lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium if lithium has this as the atomic radii as you go to sodium the atomic radii increases as you go to potassium the atomic radii further increases but on moving to rubidium the increase is not much when you move to cesium the increase is further not much and towards francium the increase is almost the same so as we go from first member to the last the atomic radii is increasing but you can see there's a steep rise in increase in the first three members but after that the increase is not much and the reason is when you move from potassium to rubidium you have a 3d incorporated when you move from rubidium to cesium you have a 4d incorporated when you move from cesium to francium you have a 4f as well as a 5d hence the effect of these d and f subshells is a poor shielding effect which causes nuclear charge to increase effectivity of the nuclear charge hence the attraction increases the size does not increase much so i conclude down the group as we move from first member to the second member size increases sodium to potassium the size again increases potassium to increase potassium to rubidium not much of an increase and in fact the last two members that is cesium and francium the size is almost similar so how are we different from class 10th when we were in class 10th we used to study down the group atomic radii increases because a new shell is incorporated now in class 11th we say atomic radii does increase but the increase is not much and towards the end the last two members the increase is almost negligible the last member last two members have almost a similar atomic radii so from class 11th onwards it becomes down the group size does increase but the magnitude of increase goes on decreasing with this i conclude my class thank you